Now, there's, there's, a, there's an individual um, that has come here many, many years, and he comes a long way. And I know all of the teachers here are always, you know, they, well, I'll, I'll talk to them, I'll say, well, Jesus, you're going to get your students again. And you know what? That's a long way to drive, man. You're coming 20 minutes away? <laughs> That's a long way to go or drive? My God. How many of you guys have students like that? Uh -huh. The problem is there's laws protecting them now. <laughs> Some of the guys that were studying for me a long time ago, I wasn't so nice. And, well, you guys saw some other people that weren't so nice a while back. Mr. Pennington, Mr. Marchini, uh, uh, Mr. Wallace, and a lot of these guys here weren't all that nice. But you know what? Their students are good. And that's a, that's a big thing. Okay, <clears throat> just an individual that we are going to acknowledge. And um, because he's a very, very important person to me. He has gone to a, he took the art that I teach, traveled across the ocean, and he's all by himself. And when I would go back and see him, I'm always looking around and going, my God, because he has to deal with it all. He's by himself. And year after year, year after year, I remember one time he says, you know what, Hanchi? I will not be known as a guy in my country that will allow your art to die. And I can't tell you what that meant. A lot. So right now, what I want to do, I'm talking about this guy right here. Stand up. Gary Curtis from Australia. Who's the guy that sacrifices? I'm going to turn this over to Jeff Driscoll. So a couple, so a couple years ago, we uh, created an award that is named after probably the two most influential people on Hanchi, which is uh, Robert Trias and Thomas S. H. Young. Uh, this award goes out every year at this event to someone that uh, Hanchi and some of the seniors feel has done an excellent job and shown the spirit of uh, the martial arts through uh, spreading the art, through instilling the important philosophical principles within their students so that we can not just contribute to being better martial artists but also better people. So with that being said, this award this year goes to Gary Curtis. Try money. Try money. <laughs> uh, this has sort of caused me on a little bit of a surprise here, a bit of a hop. Um, it's, it's been 21 years that I've been travelling the ocean chasing Honchi. Um, it was a very humbling um, experience when I first met him. Um, come over to do a tournament, went to do a seminar. Same old, same old story. You've heard it a thousand times. He's hit me. Um, I'm still trying to hit him. It's been years and years. Um, but everybody here, every time I come, everybody gives the information they have willingly, openly, and with so much love and affection. This is my extended family. Um, I decided to, this year, bring my kids over. When they have grown up. But they've sacrificed a lot to allow me to be able to travel and study over the last 20 years. So um, my return was, hey guys, come and see what I've done, see all my friends and connect with my family, which is you people. And I'm very grateful that you've always taken me in, and not only me, my students, my family, um, and treated us like a native. I, I 
I'm still able to learn how to talk properly. I'll, I'll never learn how to drive on the wrong side of the road. But for all those people out there who have ever given me the information, um, trained with me, um, I'm so grateful. And um, I've been able to pass that information on to my native countrymen, and um, yeah, they're all as silly as I am. But thank you. Um, it's been a great journey, and I just hope I can continue it on a few more years. Ta. Thank you. Something about Gary. <clears throat> he does not like taking awards. He does not. He's a very, very, very humble man and a very good man. And uh, he's an inspiration. You're an inspiration to me. I want you to know that. He wants the money. <laughs> he wants the money. <laughs> 